everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm working on the electrical for the shed. I figured I'd kind of go over it in detail to some degree because while I didn't really go into the individual circuits in the house over here because there were so many of them and they're so complicated, uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, so I figured I'd kind of, you know, just go over the electricity that I'm putting into the shed. Uh, first, where does it come from? It comes from the house. Uh, it goes uh, under the ground here in a little underground conduit that was buried, you know, back when we were putting the water lines that go up to the... Uh, uh, or the glycol lines that go up to the solar panels up there. Uh, it goes into the basement, it's gonna uh, pop into a box, and from there there's a wire, and you can see the wire right here that comes up from the box and wraps around the house and goes into the first electrical receptacle right here. From there, it continues on, uh, well, it, it terminates there, and then a new wire continues on from there along the front of the shed, continuing over to here, and it goes to another electrical receptacle, and this one is right by the door. From there, that wire terminates, and a new wire starts and goes up to a switch, a light switch, that is right next to the front door, and that operates all the lights that are in there. Uh, the, this little short wire terminates there, and a new wire runs up into the little electrical box just above the door. That's where we're gonna have one of the lamps, and then uh, the, another wire continues from there, and goes up along the top here and finishes right up over there where that, uh, that new fresh kind of light yellow spray foam is. And that is all the electricity that we're gonna be putting into the shed. It's, it's simple, it's basic. We've got two power uh, receptacles you know, on either end of the place. We've got a light switch by the door so you can go in and turn on the light and one lamp at either end. Uh, the, you know, so I thought that'd be kind of a nice thing to go over because it's just, it's really simple, it's really basic. And if you ever wanted to make your own simple mini house, it, uh, it doesn't have to be super crazy. You can just do one circuit, or if you, I guess you're gonna put an oven in, you want the oven to be on its own circuit. But you see the idea that you know the power comes in, goes into one box, then another wire continues from that box to another, to another, to another, and you kind of just daisy chain them along like that. Uh, now that I have the electric wiring stuck on this, the next step that I can do is I can start putting up the wall boards. They are all under here. We, I've been keeping them nice and dry from the uh, from the rain that we've been having. We actually had a little bit of snow last night, but I've been keeping them nice and dry. And in a couple of days, we're gonna have some warm weather. It's kind of chilly today. We're gonna have some warm weather, dry weather, sunny weather, perfect weather for starting on the wall boards. So I can get this thing sealed up and all done. That's it. Thanks for watching.